Disasters by Dia and Erica. In light of the fires in Northern California, we decided to make a website that can help victims from natural disasters both now and in the future. In this past year, there have been 15 natural disasters that the United States has had to endure, and these have led to 323 deaths, deaths so far. In 2016, there were 31.1 million people that were displaced due to natural disasters and conflict. We wanted to change that. As a company, we decided to make a website that can help people navigate through and look through a list of different tips and suggestions that can enable them to evacuate safely and efficiently. So this is the link to our website, and when you first open up the website, there's a slideshow with geological disasters, um, yeah, meteorological disasters, and hydrological disasters. And if you go back to geological disasters, and then click on more info, you're led to a page with three examples of geological disasters. So for geological disasters, it's fires, volcanic eruptions, and earthquakes. So under each of these subcategories, there's a description of what you should do before the disaster and during the disaster in order for you to get to safety. If you scroll down, yeah. So during our brainstorming process, we realized that it's pretty hard to read a list of suggestions during an event of a natural disaster. So we decided to incorporate audio recordings that will tell the users what to do during an event. These so, audio recordings would also help elderly people and disabled people because if they have a hard time looking at the computer or at the phone, they can just listen to it. Thank you. Crawl on the floor or stay low because smoke rises. Make sure to get out and close all doors to delay the spread of the fire. Don't stop to collect valuables. So that's our example of our um, fire one. And if you scroll up and go to the, yeah, and you go to the donate page at the top, yeah, so that's our page where like it has a list of charities that you can go to if you are interested in donating or helping. And in the future, what we want to do is we want to create a system where people can log in if they've been recently affected by a natural disaster, and they'll be matched with other people who log in and are like willing to donate based on like where you are from and what you are willing to donate and what you need. We also have a Be Prepared page, which is a checklist of things you can do before a natural disaster to make sure that you are ready for one. Okay, back to slides. So currently we have a website, but in the future we would like to um, change this into a mobile application because we realize that Mainly people have mobile phones and during a disaster, we don't have time to go look for computers, but if you have a phone on you, you can scroll through and go immediately to a disaster that you're dealing with and you can click the audio recording and listen to it and do follow the steps that you need to evacuate safely. What have you done so far to help with the fires in Napa? From this distance, it's really hard to have a large impact or to do anything. But if, it, if there was an easy and clear way to help and donate, why wouldn't anybody donate? Everyone would donate. And this is what our website will do. 